Now we are ready to paint our animation and Harmony has a number of tools to aid in this process. So the first thing we can do is use our model view and to help pick colors, which is a little more user friendly than say going through a list of colors in the color palette. I'm a lefty, so I'm going to grab that, pull it out. I'm going to situate it over here. And if you right click in the gray area up here, if your model view toolbar is not showing, right click and make sure the model view is checked off. Mine currently is. I'll use my zoom, my magnifying tool to zoom in, get it at a comfortable level, and then switch back over to my eyedropper. So every time I hover back into my model view, my eyedropper is ready to select. So I've already got a bunch of them colored, but let's start with this one it's from scratch so I can go over some tips as a part of the process, the painting process. So the first thing we can do is I'd like to show you the repaint brush. So we can click our brush and we can go over into its properties and down here is a little icon the repaint brush icon is a picture of a brush with a little plus over top of that make sure that is checked off and what that will do is allow us to paint areas that have already been painted and leaving any transparent areas alone so we can fix our mouth like this since in this particular drawing it was colored incorrectly let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little clearer and I'm going to sample her mouth and if you never know what color you currently have selected, down here in the bottom of our camera is a little color swatch that tells us what our current color is. So now with our paintbrush selected and repaint brush turned on, I can just blob in some color here like this and it will color that area. This is also handy for say any uh, lines that need to be colored. We can do something like this. if our line needed to have color to it but in this case we don't I'm going to undo that very handy for that type of stuff if we're using a brush for our cleanup the next thing we can do is look at some of our paint options the first thing we need to do is drop down to our color art layer and let's click on our paint bucket so here if we click and hold there is a bunch of options under there and we can use paint to just drop in very quickly areas of color. We can select the yellow of her raincoat. And if I just click, 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 yeah, it's definitely doing the job, but I can show you another way, undo all of that. If I just swipe across like this, Harmony starts to color in any areas that are, on, that are looking for some paint. So I'll undo and show you again. Whoops, I undid my color of the mouth. If I just drag it right across, it will color in all of those areas. So let me undo again. If I make a nice loop where I'm grabbing this part of the body down here and let go, it's going to color everything in for me. A nice in one swipe, very handy way. So you can see there's a little red X down here. And that's just a visual note to myself to let me know that, yes, this little area should be left unpainted, this little space between her arm and her body. So we can click on our paint bucket and we can use unpaint. And when I click that, it goes away and unpaints it and leaves our zones the way they were. So that's a handy way of removing any paint that we may have accidentally painted in, in, in by accident. So let's take a look at her face. Let's go up and sample the skin tone and we can swipe up, grabs her neck and her face. So the other thing we can do is we can use paint unpainted to quickly grab her eyes in here. So let's first sample the eye white. Let's click on paint unpainted, right? And if I just draw a nice swatch around here, like so, and let go, it's going to paint anything that has not been painted. And that includes any little areas that maybe Harmony possibly may have misinterpreted when it was looking at the, the, uh, the brush when it generated the color art from the line art. So using paint unpainted can help us grab little tiny areas that maybe we're not seeing right away. So let's move on to her hair color. And paint, paint, paint. Hmm, I'm clicking, clicking, clicking and nothing's dropping. There must be a mistake or an error in here. So why don't we show our strokes and we can do that by going up to view. We can go to show and we can hit show strokes. And that's going to show us the vectors as, long, as well as where their points, where they intersect. 
uh, there's a keyboard shortcut by default is K so you can hit that to toggle it on and off I'll leave it on and let's zoom in really closely here da, 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 da. so you can see that the vec the points have two colors if it's orange that means it is open it is an open point if there is a blue colored blue that means it is a closed area and if we look up here we can see that there is a bit of orange right here we have a gap right here so there's two ways of dealing with that let's click our paint bucket again and we can see the first one I'll show at the bottom is close gap and if I just swipe it like this harmony will do its best to draw as cleanly and efficiently a straight line to close the gap in this particular case it is not going to do what we need it to do because there's a little bit of a curve to her hair here let me undo so closing gap is good for tiny areas maybe where harmony may have missed a little piece uh, maybe where the brush maybe is a little faint we can use close gap to just quickly swipe across and it will close the gap but again this has a little bit of a curve to it let's click our paint bucket again and hold let's go down to stroke this will allow us to draw with our mouse or our stylus like so to close that area in and now switching back to our paint bucket I like to use paint on painted. I like to kind of that's kind of my default, I think. Now we can paint bucket in. And again, paint on painted is really nice because we can sample the skin tone and with paint on painted selected, I can just draw a nice big loop in this area and it's going to color that little chunk in there. So let's keep moving forward a little bit. And again, with paint on painted selected, I can just swipe across and it's going to grab the hands. I can grab a nice little loop there to grab both the thumb and the wrist at the same time. I'm going to turn my strokes off. A little distracting. And again, with paint on painted, I can swipe right across to grab both of her legs at the same time. Let's grab her umbrella. It's a very faint gray. You probably can't see it against the background of the of the camera. So we can color in her handle. And I'm clicking sampling color from my model view and just paint bucketing in like that. Let's get the bill here and again. Swipe it right across. Get both of those zones at the same time. And now if we paint bucket in our umbrella, I can see hmm, there's a little harmony may have misinterpreted how to close this gap right here so let's zoom in and now let's show our strokes once again again i'm hitting k by default on my keyboard to show my strokes you can see that harmony may have not have gotten that area correctly we can use our contour editor with a little white arrow and we can just kind of manually pull this and play with these handles just a little bit to get them to fill that area a little more cleanly. And I remember in here, up in this corner, ah, right here, yes. Again, using my contour editor, I can just kind of clean that area up just a little bit. Just moving these points around just to make sure that they are filling the area the way I want them to. All right, I'm gonna turn my strokes off again. And now, I made a mistake in here. I colored this the wrong color. So we can use repaint, which will repaint anything that's already been painted. So I can just repaint in there or drag it right across and it will color anything that's that needs to be repainted. And I can use paint. I'm going to switch back to paint unpainted. I'm going to draw a nice big loop in here to make sure I grab any areas that may have been open or any unfilled areas in there for the interior of her hood. So for our final tip, I'm going to show you how to apply paint across multiple drawings. Her boots are unpainted in this frame. And if I step through for the remainder of our animation, her boots are unpainted. So there's a quick way to kind of do that all in one shot. So let's first, let's sample the boot color. And we're going to use paint unpainted so that it will paint anything that is not already painted. So we don't, don't accidentally repaint her legs, for example. And if we go up to the tool properties, we'll see that there is a little icon called apply to multiple drawings. It looks like three little pieces of paper with an arrow pointing to the right. And when I click that, whatever I do next, Harmony will apply down the line in time. 
And what's the next important thing to keep in mind is I need to draw a large enough loop to encompass where her legs are in the frame. So they're up here, and if I step forward, I need to be around down here someplace. Um, yes, yeah, so we need a loop like this. So I have a good idea of where to draw my loop. Okay, I have paint on painted. I'm going to check off apply to multiple drawings, and I'm going to draw my loop like such. Give it a second. And Harmony has painted in all of the remaining boots. Now you might notice right here we have a little area that we might need to unpaint because it grabbed an unpainted area. Just click it once and it's gone.